everyone, welcome back to another video with K-Pop Play with Tiffany and welcome to the very first episode of Dress Like a K-Star! So I asked my fellow K-influencers, friends and family what kind of fashion category I should start with and what artist I should start with. And... Airport fashion! So airport fashion is very popular among K artists. They either will dress very casual or simple because they most likely be going on the plane for upwards of like 30 minutes up to 14 hours if they're going overseas or they're going to be dressing in their favorite designers as well as their own personal aesthetic. And the K-pop group we are going to be discussing today is BTS. So as a lot of people know BTS is my Ulta group. I did start with K-pop 14 years ago but BTS has risen to my ultimate groups just because of everything that they've done. So today I'm going to be showcasing three different fashion styles from 2018, 19, and 20 that they have done. I'm going to be picking three different members with three different outfits. I'm also going to be telling you on the side what the actual things they are wearing are and what the prices are. And I'm going to be showing you a low budget way to create that same look. So let's go. So today I'm going to be showing you a low budget way to do the airport looks that you have seen the BTS members wear. With this I'm also going to be going in a more feminine look, but I can also explain ways on how to make it masculine very simply. So let's go to the first look. And what? First outfit we'll be discussing is Kim Young. This outfit was worn October 9th, 2019 and this was on the way to their Love Yourself tour in Saudi Arabia. For Kim Tae Young, he likes to go with a more artistic style, and this is also kind of like Kim Nam Joon's kind of a style. He goes more artistic as well. So with this outfit, you can see this is what the outfit originally looks like that he's wearing, plus everything that he is actually wearing. So the way I made this a little bit more low budget was I first went to Amazon. I found like a really nice shirt. I actually just searched under like K-pop clothes, and this was like one of the first things that come up. It has an interesting design on here. It has like these lines you can kind of see underneath. The sweater vest I actually got from a thrift store for like $5. Super, super good deal. The pin right here is actually the pin that Taeyang is wearing from Kate Rowland. And I was able to buy it. I'm so, so happy I was able to get it. It is perfection. She still has more if you want to check them out. They're, it was about $30 to get to me. But that's the cost of shipping because she's from England and I'm in the US. But in general, this is a really good affordable thing. For the messenger bag that he has, I went with a more affordable style right here. It's not exactly the same as the coach one, but it is very close in the style. The color, I kind of like this color more because it kind of matched to the style a little bit better. And then with the pants, he has white pants that he painted. I unfortunately didn't paint these, but this is what I would use. I would use a capri style like this, and you can roll it up even more if you wanted to for a more fashionable look. His shoes are brown, but I thought it would be fun to just go with something a little bit more vibrant. So they do like to wear platforms all the time. So I have these sparkly platforms. I got these guys at Ross. Original price isn't in here, but I think this was like $10 at Ross. So it's super, super affordable. Now let's try it on. Woo! So this is what the outfit looks like on. So once again, this is like a very artistic style look. It is very, very comfortable. I have the bag a little bit higher up. This bag can actually hold a lot of stuff, which is cool. The pin actually adds to this look as well. So if you want to get that showcase piece, it would definitely be the pin. So once again, this is what this guy looks like. And this was taken from the actual artist. This was taken from thrift stores, from Amazon, eBay, things like that. So you can get affordable looks from retailers that are just around your corner. So now let's go on to the next look. Woo! Next look we are showcasing is Park Jimin. This was an outfit he wore in February of 2020 when he was coming to Los Angeles. And this is what we call a boyfriend style. So the boyfriend style look. It is a very common look that Jimin does like to wear as well as members Jungkook and Yoongi. They do love to wear that black style. They do like their leather jackets. So this style is a very universal style for three members of BTS as well as styles for a lot of other K-pop artists. So this is the look that he wore and this is everything he wore with it. So from this affordable version, the shirt you can see underneath here, I decided to have that peekaboo effect with that collar just because it's a little bit cuter. This is a knit shirt. I got this actually at a thrift store, but it's originally from Forever 21. The jacket here, since he has a motorcycle style leather jacket, this has that more vibey punk look. It's a little bit cuter, more feminine with all the chains and everything. 
this jacket I got at Forever 21 and this was part of their celebration collection and on sale this is $20 but originally is $50 and $50 for a leather jacket is a really good deal. He has a messenger bag in his so I decided to pair with this guy so this is a fanny pack that I got which is like that pleather look so it has still that punk feeling. I got that at Ross for like $12 super super affordable. His glasses we all can't afford so I decided to pair it with these kind of black biker glasses. These guys I actually got on Amazon for like $5. It's a super good deal. With his pants it is just a nice black jean so Forever 21 once again. Forever 21 it's mostly the outfit that is on here. So these pants are really nice so they are a skinny leg but also a high waist and has like a slight glitter tone to it so it has more of that vibe. Obviously we can't afford the boots he's wearing but a close second. This brand is very very popular among K artists as well as K-pop fans and it's Fila. So yes tag is still on there because of hip hop but these feelers I actually got at a store called Journey and these were actually very affordable as well these were 50 which is not bad for Fila they are real official feelers as well so let's try on the boyfriend look Woo! so this is what the boyfriend look looks like on I'm put the shades up here so yeah this shirt kind of has like that midriff look and with that peekaboo as well, if you do want to make this more masculine, just like a black t-shirt is totally fine. Same with the biker jacket, you don't have to have like all the pearls and accessories that are on here. You can just get like a plain black biker jacket, either from like Amazon or eBay or even at your local thrift store. The bag is super simple as well, so you don't have to go like as extravagant. The jeans are really nice because they are a high waist, so it does complement with the midriff a little bit well if you do want to hide some of your skin and not show that much, so... Boyfriend look. Check! Now let's move on to the very last look of this video. Woo -woo! So this is the last look of the video. So this is inspired by Jung Ho Suk. And with his airport looks, he likes to be very colorful, have kind of like that hipster bohemian vibe. And also this kind of is like, member Jin, he likes to be very, very colorful. So this look was from May of 2018 when they were going to Los Angeles. And I personally love this look so much and also sparked that very, very famous big clear bag with the Murakami flower inside. So this is what he actually was wearing and a list of the stuff he is wearing. But with this, I went a little bit more feminine. So as you can see, the shirt underneath kind of has that, like, it has like a glitter look. So just a little bit pretty. It's a pretty cute little tank. That shirt I found on Amazon. Super, super pretty. This shirt I found at Target and it was on sale and I completely fell in love with it. When I saw it, I immediately thought of how it's like it in this look. So with this, it has that tie on the bottom. I decided to tie it just to have that more LA vibe because they are going to LA in this outfit. And it's really cute, so I kept it a little bit unbuttoned. So, for his sunglasses, yes, we cannot afford those sunglasses, so I found these really, really pretty rhinestone glasses at a local thrift store. And the cool thing is it does match the shirt with the glitter, which is really, really pretty. The headband, this is just a basic white headband that you can just wear with the look, and you can also write on it whatever you want, so very, very easy. Then lastly is my bag with my own Murakami. So this is an actual real flower Murakami. Like it has the tag and everything like you see in his. And then this clear bag is like a smaller one. It's a little bit more fashionable. It has that iridescent look, which I really love. So I got this guy once again at my favorite place, Ross. And this guy was maybe, because it came with a bag inside too, so maybe it was like $20, so super, super affordable. The jeans he is wearing, super, super basic, nice basic jeans, just in that nice, like, light blue color. And these are also skinny jeans as well. You can wear the wide leg jeans like he's wearing as well, too. And then lastly, the shoes I found, so we all can't afford the shoes that Hosuk is wearing, but I got these colorful shoes. So these guys are from Skechers, and this is a style that Hosuk does like to wear, so this is something I would pair with this. It has a lot of colors, so the, a lot of colors will go really well with the iridescence in the bag as well as the Murakami flower and then they have that blue which goes with the blue. So these are the shoes I would pair with it. You can pair other types of shoes with it. But now let's try it on. Whew. I feel so hipster. I feel so cool. So this is what the look looks like on me. So once again there's the 
rhinestone glasses and if you can see closer there are those rhinestones on the shirt so that's why i paired these two together headband he has a black one but i thought the white one would look so much better with the look you can always get the black one or dye a white one black whatever is easier for you the shirt here is a very close one to his shirt if you want to masculine this up just wear a long flannel shirt with this kind of style super super easy super easy to get like amazon target walmart places like that the bag so yeah this is what the bag looks like like super close up you can see it the murakami i have is a real child so this the real ones aren't actually as expensive as they look it's just the pin version so super super easy to look to get once again thank you all so much for watching this video i hope some of these tips have helped you guys trying to do more airport fashion just like bts so, who do you want to see in my next episode? Is there any other K-stars you guys like? Any other groups out there, male or female? Any solo artists you want to see? Drop that down in the comment section below. Is there any other fashion category you want to know more about? Drop it down there below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, to thumbs up, and have a great day. Hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.